Well, it's just really scary how quickly things can change. Change is something that Grace Keller is used to. When someone dies, we know those people. We know their story. We know their struggles. We also know their successes. So it's absolutely devastating to us when that happens. She works with the Howard Center Safe Recovery Program, where the majority of the 5,000 clients are at a heightened risk of dying from drug overdoses because of heroin laced with fentanyl. So now we have a population that's sufficiently afraid, that's either witnessed an overdose has overdosed, witnessed an overdose, has overdosed themselves, or know somebody who's died. The Howard Center is one of dozens of spots where anybody can stop in and get naloxone, the overdose reversal and drug better known as Narcan. Ever since Narcan became legal in the state of Vermont, um, I have felt a very strong obligation to get it out to the public, to get it in as many hands as possible, to make sure that if somebody overdoses, there's somebody there who's trained and knows how to respond and has Narcan. And it's working. The Vermont Department of Health reports close to 50,000 Narcan kits have been distributed over the past five years alone, saving countless lives. We are, in fact, advancing as a community. Earlier this year, Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger announcing the number of opioid-related deaths in Chittenden County from 2017 to 2018 was cut in half. Even when we see a decrease in the rate, we at least know we're headed in the right direction and good things are happening but it's very hard to have cause for celebration. Vermont's Health Commissioner Dr. Mark Levine says there's still a lot of work to be done, including educating young people about the dangers of drug addiction and cutting the number of opioid prescriptions. But he says the one thing that is working is naloxone. So I'd like to think we're kind of flooding the state with naloxone so that if it's ever needed, it's going to be very nearby for somebody and save a life. And for Keller, that's the ultimate goal. It's enabling people to stay alive, which is absolutely the goal for us and for everybody. It should be that, that keeping people alive is the most critical thing that we could be doing in the opioid crisis. In Burlington, Liz Strepa, NBC5 News.